Мы... Повторим идею вот эту вот мысль. Да. Итак, мы сейчас находимся около храма Мадан Махана, это один из главных храмов Риндавана. Now we are at the Madan Mohanji temple, it's one of the uh, most important temples in Vrindavan. Я хочу объяснить uh, очень важный момент. And I would like to explain some important moment, point. Почему люди поклоняются Кришне? Why people worship Krishna? Очень многие люди просят у Кришны материального благословения. Many people ask material uh, benefits from Krishna. Но это глупо. But it's uh, not wise. Есть знаменитая молитва Прохлада Махараджа, которую он вознес на Рисимхадеву. And there is a famous prayer of Prahlad Maharaj that he uh, prayed to Rishimhadev. Эта молитва не содержится в Шримад Бхагаватам. And this prayer is not in Shrimad Bhagavatam. Она из других Пуран. It's from other Puranas. Потому что я раньше думал, что она в Шримад Бхагаватам, потом открыл, там ее не нашел. I, I was trying to find it there, but I couldn't. Потом я увидел в одной ну, в записи лекции Горгавинда Махараджа, он цитировал эту молитву, и там процитировал Пурану, но я не помню. But then in the lecture of Gorgavinda Maharaj this verse was uh, recited, and, but I don't know which Purana it, it was taken from. Но я думаю, что вы это слышали много раз. But I think you heard it many times. Нарисим Хаде, то есть Прохлад Махарадж, sorry, not Прохлад, Друм Махарадж, он, он сказал, что, о мой Господь, я искал, то есть я, наш, я искал осколки разбитого стекла, но сейчас увидев тебя, я вошел в бриллиант. Uh, actually, it was not Brahad Maharaj, but Dhruva Maharaj, and he was praying. He he was seeing the Lord and saying, uh, "Actually, I was looking for the pieces of broken glass, but instead I found you. I found a diamond." Мы знаем историю Друва Махараджа, что он молился Господу Вишну ради материального благословения. And we know that Dhruva Maharaj was praying to uh, Lord Vishnu for material uh, blessings. Но когда он увидел Господа Вишну, он, разоч... он разочаровался в своих желаниях. But when we, he met uh, Lord Vishnu, he got disappointed in his uh, material desires. И мы должны вынести из этого урок. And we have to learn the lesson from this. For ourselves. То есть наш урок в том, что мы поклоняемся Господу не ради денег. And our lesson for us is that we worship the Lord not to get material blessings. Я очень часто привожу этот пример, и людям в Индии он понятен. I give this example to Indian people and they understand. Вы все знаете эту молитву. You all know this uh, song, right? Самое смешное, что это, этот баджан впервые, эта песня впервые появилась в индийском кино. And this song, uh, this bhajan was first uh, shown in the Indian movie. А потом из кино она перекочевала в храм. And then from movie it, uh, it appeared in the temples. Да, то есть это не храм будет песня. So it's not a temple song. Вот, но так или иначе в этой песне поется, о мой Господь, пожалуйста, дай мне благословение. Uh, but anyways, in this song, it is uh, sung that, Oh my Lord, please give me blessings. And Aindra Prabhu was joking about it. Uh, when the person worships the Lord for material things, он показывает, что ты мне не нужен, мне нужно от тебя получить что-то. He shows that I don't need you, I need something else. Представьте такую ситуацию, муж и жена. Imagine such a situation, there is a wife and a husband. И жена для мужа делает все самым лучшим образом. And the wife is doing everything for her husband in the best way. Она готовит ему. She is cooking for him. Гладит ему носки. She is ironing his socks. So she's doing everything. But for what? But in order to get back care of her, some presents. So if he does, he if he won't, if he doesn't give her uh, jewelry or presents, she won't iron his socks. Причем, как бы это смешно. Женщина подумает, я я сварю ему. Я его сварю, сварю ему тарелку кичери, а он мне пожертву, а он мне подарит uh, кольцо с бриллиантом. And uh, the woman woman thinks, uh, I will cook him a, a pot of kitchi and he will give me a diamond necklace. <laughs> Это очень хороший бизнес. It's a very good business. 
It's normal that a man gives jewelry to his wife. But, but it means if they have this business relationship, it's it's difficult to find. It's difficult to call relationship. It's not the real. Ah, it's not. It's difficult to call it a service. It's difficult to call it a love, love service. It's just business. It's just a very like good business. But many families they live in this way. They don't talk about it openly. But they have this mood. And there is a like folk wisdom. Uh, that uh, the wife can be checked uh, when there is no money in the family, when the husband has no money. And the husband can be checked or tested, tested uh, when he has lots of money. Because if a husband has no money at the moment and wife stays with him, it means there is there a relationship there. And if the husband has lots of money and he doesn't change his wife for another one, it means he also his. This are relationships. So relationships are relationships. They are not connected with money related. So the nice test uh, on whether we are doing the right thing or we are with the right person is to imagine if I have million of dollars, would I be with the same person? Would I go to the same job? Would I do the same occupation? Would I live at that place? And many people would uh, answer no. And so in the same way we could be asked, if you have million of dollars, would you worship Krishna? And many people would say no. Because for, what for? And we worship Krishna not for money. We worship him for love. And this is the first uh, point that we have to understand. And that's why I'm always strict to those who live in Delhi. Uh, people, you are living in Delhi, why don't you come to Vrindavan? It's so close. It's very simple, easy. You don't even have don't have to take a flight. And why it happens like this? I'm very sorry, but I have to say that because you don't love Krishna. Uh, being honest, I also don't love Krishna. <laughs> uh, love to Krishna is not that easy thing. People think during the Kirtan having these emotions, oh, I love Krishna. Uh, but no. Because I love myself. That's first of all. First of all, I love myself. And once Gorgavinda Maharaj was asked by his disciple, uh -huh. uh, this disciple asked Gorgavinda Maharaj, why we cannot cry for Krishna? And Gorgavinda Maharaj is the real sadhu. And his words are not to please us. It's like injection from the doctor to cure us. Uh, and sometimes sadhus are very gentle, they pick up words to, to give. It's like a doctor uses a cotton pad and 
alcohol to, you know, for disinfection. And Sadhu says, everything is okay, everything is fine. So sometimes Sadhu is very gentle and sometimes he is harsh. And he answered, Gorgavin. So the question was, why I cannot cry for Krishna? Be and Gorgavinda Maharaj said, because you are crying for Maya, you dirty animal. <laughs> so we can cry because we are lacking money. If we don't have husband or wife. So there are so many reasons why we cry. But we don't cry for Krishna. We cry uh, if Krishna didn't give us money. And uh, such a person asks Krishna, what is a million of years for you? It's just a moment, like just a spark. What is million dollars for you? It's just a cent. Uh, like. Please give me a million of dollars. <laughs> and Krishna answers, wait a moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, another funny story. <laughs> One person went to hell. So, uh, uh, came to pick up this person to the hell. And the person said, no, you are mistaken. He said, I gave donation in the temple. He said, I gave thousand rupees. He said, I cannot go to hell. I paid for my sins. <laughs> and Yamadutas went to Yamaraj. He said, we don't know what to do with him. <laughs> he said, give him a uh, thousand rupees back and take him to the hell. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> So beginning of the spiritual life is the correct sambanda. Sambanda means relationship. And Madan Mohan, uh, Madan Mohanji temple, which was built by Sanatan Goswami. And Sanatan Goswami is the sambanda acharya. He gives us the right understanding. Uh, so this uh, part of knowledge of Sambanda Gyana answers the questions. Who is God? Who am I? Who am I? What is material world? And what relationships I have with material world, with God? And this is the basic thing that we have to understand. Because if I, under, if I truly understand that my real relationship, not, not with Maya, but with God, and then the development of such a person will be in the right direction. And uh, that such a person will not ask for money from God. Many people in different traditions and Hare Krishna also and they uh, treat Krishna as a, some uh, the shopkeeper, let's say, let's shopkeeper. <laughs> and there should be a sale in this shop. And because they think, uh, I, I go to this shop uh, where Krishna is shopkeeper and I give one rupee and I want to get an iPhone a 13. <laughs> And uh, such a person, he uh, worships Krishna, he gives something and uh, 
and receive something, but what really he does for Krishna? Ah, so people give a donation uh, on one rupee to God and they ask blessings for millions of rupees. It's a business. A very nice business. But it's not love. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he taught that we have to obtain Krishna Prem. Western devotees are really lucky. Because we didn't know uh, neither Sanskrit nor, hi nor Hindi. And when we got uh, certain notions from books of Srila Prabhupada, they were really pure. But in India, everything is mixed up. And in Chaitanya Charitamrita there is explanation that there are two kinds of love. Kama and Prema. It's in Bengal. That the desire to satisfy our own senses is called Kama. And desire to satisfy the feelings of Krishna is Prem. But now for people Prem is love. Uh, it, means, it means just romantic, simple love, love worldly love. And when uh, people hear we have to ask Prem from Krishna, uh, and people might understand, uh, oh, I can ask uh, love from Krishna, love to wife, or like something like worldly feelings. But Prema means I want to love Krishna. And Kama and Prema are different from each other, like iron and gold. There is a big difference. So when we ask such things as money or gold, money or wife from Krishna, it means we are asking for iron instead of gold. And we don't have to call Kama uh, that karma is prema, it's, it's not like this. So everything that is for my own senses is karma. Uh, in Delhi there are many different people, pious people, and there are prostitutes. And there are prostitutes with name Premika. But uh, this has no relationship to Prema. So Prema is the relationship of pure soul with, the, with God. When we speak about relationship with God, I will ask a question to you. Right now, right here, if you see Krishna, what would you do? And we don't know the answer to this question. Maybe we could uh, say we will offer obeisances, offer the incense. No. Uh, yeah, it's like general answers, yeah. Uh, but it means that uh, if we don't know clearly what we would do, it means we have no relationship with Krishna. We just know that uh, his position is very great. And now if we meet Narendra Modi, our actions are clear. <laughs> no. 
просто положению премьер-министра. Uh, uh, а когда дети на Рендра Моди его увидят, они что делают? And when children of Narendra Modi uh, see him, what they do? No. Yes. Потому что у них отношения. And they hug him because they have relationship. А что жена Narendra Modi делает? And what the wife of Narendra Modi does? Вы понимаете, что разные люди в зависимости от отношений они ведутся по-разному. So you understand that people depend on their relationship, they behave differently with the person. Поэтому я снова задаю вопрос. Мы сейчас увидим Кришну, что мы будем делать? So I will ask again, if we meet Krishna now, what would you do? <laughs> okay, but you understand, this, it's, it's a main function, yeah? But in reality, what, what's happening in heart? We don't know. But because we don't have this relationship. И скажи, и что наша цель это именно отношения с Кришной. Krishna. Но многие об этом даже никогда не задумываются. But many people don't even think about it. У них нет времени. Uh, they have no time for it. Они говорят, что то есть, их цель поклонения Кришне не отношения. Their goal is not uh, worshiping Krishna. Их цель uh, вот этот материальный мир. Their goal is this material world. Я не говорю, что надо имитировать возвышенный уровень. I'm not saying that we have to imitate this uh, high uh, state. Я просто говорю, об этом надо задуматься. I'm just saying this because we have to think about it. И вот мы сначала мы принимаем прибежище у Мадан Махана. And first of all we take shelter from Madan Mohan. Для того, чтобы понять, очень ясно понять для себя, какие у нас отношения с Кришной. In order to clearly understand what relationships we have with Krishna. В первую очередь мы должны понять, что это отношения то есть это не, это не Кришна предназначен для нашего наслаждения, а мы для Него. And first of all, we have to understand that it's not Krishna, He is uh, pre predestined for us to fulfill our desires. Это мы для Него. Uh, we are for Him. And in Chaitanya Charitamrita it is said, то есть вечное положение живого существа это служить Кришне. The eternal position of the living entity is to serve Krishna. Но очень многие мыслят по-другому. But many people think differently. Кришна расфорол плохой, живо не тядаса. But they think opposite. Krishna is to serve me. Но это не так. But it's not like this. То есть мы должны служить Кришне. Это первое, что надо понять. So we have to serve Krishna, and this is the first thing that we have to understand. И следующий вопрос: служить как? And the other question: how to serve? How to do the service? Это очень высоко, но высоко это не означает недостижимо. It's very high thing, but it's not doesn't mean that it's not achievable. Если мы в этой жизни не будем думать о том, в каких мы отношениях с Кришной находимся, то когда наступит это время? If in this lifetime we don't think about what relationships I have with Krishna, then this moment will never come. When? Для примера, если опять же вот Кришна прямо сейчас перед нами появится, он спросит, что ты хочешь? And for example, if Krishna appears in front of us and asks, what do you want? И, воз, и возможен только один ответ. Я хочу према, я хочу чистой любви. And there is only one answer possible. I want Krishna prema, pure love. Но это общая концепция. But this is very uh, general idea. Внутри нее есть очень много деталей. Inside of this idea there are many details. Для примера, Рагунат Дасгасвами совершал баджан, и перед ним появился Кришна Шимати Радика. For example, when Raghunath Das Goswami was doing his bhajan, Radha and Krishna appeared in front of him. Да, и спросили, чего ты хочешь? And they asked, what do you want? Говорит, я хочу служить вам, когда вы вместе находитесь в Кунджах Вриндавана. And he said, I want to serve you when you are in Kunjas Vrindavana together. И Шимати Радик сказал, ты очень много вопросов. And Radharani said, oh, you are asking for a lot. Он сказал, а мне ничего другого не надо. And he said, I don't need anything else. И если ты считаешь, что я недостойна этого, And he said, if you think that I'm not deserving this, то я останусь здесь и буду совершать свой баджан. Then I will stay here and will continue my bhajan. До тех пор, пока ты не посчитаешь меня пригодным. Till the moment you consider that I am ready, I'm qualified. То есть вы просто представьте, Кришна появился, да, и, и он говорит, что и преданный говорит, Ни, ничего не надо, кроме вот этого моего желания. And you just imagine if uh, such a devotee is in front of Krishna and he says, I need nothing in, except of uh, love towards you. А в нашем случае что получится? And in our case, what we would say? Кришна спросит, что ты хочешь? And Krishna will ask, what what do you want? Я говорю, према. And I, if the, I say према. И он скажет. And he will say, oh, it's too much. Maybe you want uh, some apartment in Dubai? 
И ведь мы сейчас смеемся. И now we are laughing. Но в реальности, а почему мы живем так, как будто бы действительно для нас это важнее? But in reality, why do we live our life that way as as we need it really, like this apartment in Dubai, for example? Люди приезжают во Вриндаван, я каждого спрашиваю. And when uh, people come to Vrindavan, I ask everyone. Вам нравится? Do you like here? And people say yes, we love love да. Vrindavan. Так оставайтесь. And I say like, but so stay here. Не 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 не. So and they say no no no. А на работе нравится? Не не нравится. And I ask, do you like your job? You want to go to the office? And they say no, we don't, we don't like. Почему ты уезжаешь оттуда, куда нравится, туда, куда не нравится? And the question is why you leave that place you love to the place you don't love. love. <laughs> Потому что деньги важны. Because money are more important. И если жизнь показывает, что деньги важны, то где гарантия, что перед нами появится Кришна и мы у него попросим не денег? And if uh, our life shows that money are more important, uh, how uh, then, then when Krishna appears, uh, then where is the uh, We most probably how we can ask not for money but something else then. So this is the thing that we have to consider about. And now I will say one more uh, important thing. Shri Prabhadananda Saraswati in Vrindavana Mahimamrita says. Лучше в следующей жизни я рожусь собакой у ворот храма Мадна Махана во Вриндаване. And Prabhupada Saraswati says that better I will be born as a dog at the Madhu Mahanji temple чем, чем я стану богиней Лакшми на Вайкунте. Rather than I'll become Lakshmi Devi at Vaikuntha. На Вайкунте миллионы Лакшми Деви служат в Нарайне. At Vaikuntha millions of uh, Lakshmi Devis uh, serve uh, Lord Narayan. И Прабхадананда Сарасвати он, он родился в Южной Индии. And Prabhupada Saraswati was born in South India. Он, он, он служил Господу Ранганатхи в Ширангаме. Uh, he was serving uh, Lord Ranganath in Ширангам. Но он встретился в Ширангаме с Махапрабху. But he met uh, Lord Chaitanya, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in, in, the, in Ширангам. И он, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu проповедовал uh, славу в Раджа Бхакти. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was preaching в Раджа Бхакти. И Прабхупада Сарасвати ушел из Ширангама и поселился здесь. And Prabhupada Saraswati left Ширангам for Vrindavan. То есть его Иштадевом были Лакшми Нарайна. So before his, his Ishtadev was uh, Lakshmi Narayana. Но он полностью поменял свое настроение. But he changed his mood. Он сказал, что я лучше здесь, буду жить здесь на земле. He said that better I'll be dog here rather than Lakshmi at Vaikuntha. Почему? Why? Потому что Прабхадам Сарасвати хотел именно в Раджа Бхакти, хотел чувствовать Кришну. Because Prabhupada Saraswati he wanted the feelings of Raja Bhakti. Of Raja Bhakti. He wanted this Raja Bhakti. Это самое большое сокровище. And this is the biggest uh, jewel, the biggest treasure. И... Рупа Госвами в Упадешамрите объясняет структуру духовного мира. And Rupa Goswami in Upadeshamrita he explains the structure of the spiritual world. Он говорит, что Матхура проявлена на Земле. He says that Matthura manifested in this world. Выше, чем планета Вайкунта в духовном мире. Is higher than the planet uh, Vaikuntha in the spiritual world. Для многих людей это шок. And for many people it's a shock. А я хочу это объяснить. And I would like to explain this. По какому критерию говорится, что одна дхама выше или ниже другой? Uh, by what criteria we can say that one dham, holy dham is higher than another one? По уровню стаи бавы, по уровню любви. It's uh, dependent on the level of стаи бава, the level of love. Uh, на Вайкунхе никто, то есть на Вайкунхе нет такого проявления любви к Господу на райне, как в Матхуре. Uh, in Vaikun, on Vaikunta, there is no such manifestation of love towards God as it, it is in Matura. Да, на Вайкунте, конечно, все преданные Госп... любят Господа Нарайна. Of course, everyone at Vaikunta loves Lord, the Lord. Но в основном это Дасья Раса. But mostly it's Dasya Rasa. Да, ты мой Господь, я твой слуга. You are my Lord and I'm your servant. Uh, на Вайкунте нет друзей. In on Vaikunta there are no friends. Даже все понимают это величайшее положение Господь Нарайна. Because every fun, everyone understands this the highest position of the Lord. Даже Лакшми Деви, которая по идее в Матхуре Расе находится. Even uh, Lakshmi Devi, who is like we might suppose she is in Madhurya Rasa. У нее все равно доминирует настроение Дасья служанки. Uh, so this mood of Dasya of service is predominant. А, а в Матхуре здесь на земле у Кришны есть друзья, у Кришны есть родители, у, у Господа Нарайна нет родителей. And in Mathura here, Krishna has parents. In Vaikuntha, he has no parents. Друзья. He has friends. То есть здесь отношения здесь в Мадхуре к Кришне гораздо более высокие. So in Mathura, relationship toward Krishna are higher. 
И поэтому, хотя Матхура находится в пределах материального мира, но она по положению выше, чем Вайкунта. Even though Mathura is in the material world, but by, by its position is higher than Vaikuntha in the spiritual world. Do you understand why? Because of the level of Bhakti. So first goes Vaikuntha in the spiritual world, then Mathura in this material world. Многим людям, которые поклоняются Кришне, им скажут, что ты хочешь в следующей жизни? Родиться на Вайкунте или вон туда, вот, в Матхуру, где там сейчас вон, куча машин, загазованных и так But if we are followers of Lord Chaitanya, uh, we, our answer should be, of course, Mathura. Because Srila Prabhupada, he explains in Nectar of Devotion. Because if someone from Vaikuntha wants to get to Galoka, the one from Vaikuntha takes birth in a world like in this Vrindava, in this Matura, in Vrajamandala. And then from here he can ship to Galoka. And this, uh, this place is higher than Vaikuntha. And higher than Mathura is Vrindavan. Because in Vrindavan the Rasa Lila was, uh, was going on. In, uh, in Mathura there is no Rasa Lila. And by emotional level, passion that is happening in Rasa dance is much higher than in previous kinds of relationships. But in Vrindavan, uh, to attend Rasa Lila, all kinds of gopis uh, come. И выше Вриндавана находится Гавардан. And higher than Vrindavan is Gordon. Потому что Гавардан был поднят рукой Кришны. Because Gavardhan was lifted by the hand of Krishna. Но также под Гавардханом произошла одна интересная вещь. And also one interesting thing happened at Gavardhan. Гопи, которые чувствовали любовь к Кришне. Gopis that felt love to Krishna. Но они хотели Кришну мужа. But they wanted Krishna to be their husband. Но они никогда не жили с ним вместе. But they never lived with him. And when Krishna lifted Govardhan, it became like a house for all Rajavasis. So before they couldn't look at Krishna openly. But during Govardhan Lila, they could express their feelings. And then someone would ask, why do you look at Krishna, stare at Krishna? But everyone is staring at him. Look what is going on. Look at what's going on. They could look openly. So Gordon became like a big house for all Rajavasis and they could get this experience of living with him together. In Russia we have this joke because we have name Krishna and we have the word Krisha. Krisha means roof. Yeah. Мы говорим, что Кришна крышует. То есть Кришна means, защищает. Like Krishna is our roof. He is like protecting us. In, in Russian language it is uh, Krishna крышует. Means Krishna gives roof, gives, Krishna gives protection. Uh, so it, in uh, Russian uh, language it sounds like YouTube video. Ah. <laughs> okay, Hare Krishna. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Like Krishna is given shelter. Uh. Вот. Но выше Говардана находится Радакунд. But higher than Govardhan is Radakund. Потому что во Вриндаване, как я уже сказал, все гопи встречались с Кришной. Uh, because, as I said, in Vrindavan, all gopis uh, visit, attended Rasalila. Но на Радакунде там только ближайшее окружение Шимати Радики. Uh, but at Radakund, uh, uh, only the close associates of Radharani could attend it. Как вот, uh, я просто не знаю, в Индии есть такое понятие, нет? Но как вот, у нас в ночных клубах есть такое понятие face control. Uh, as in night clubs, you know, there is the face control, you know, like... Uh, 
a dress code like only or like only certain kind of people can get in right face control yeah so at radakon there is a strict face control <laughs> so only shimati radika and her close associates can go there so because the feelings of radharani and her close associates toward krishna is the strongest that's why the the most the strongest feelings are manifested there and that's why Radha Kund is higher than Govardhan and then Vrindavan. And out of these four are in the material world. Because in reality, this uh, uh, worldly Vrindavan and spiritual Vrindavan are not different. And from here we can see the Yamuna. It is the same Yamuna which is which we have in which which we have uh, the same Yamuna as in Galoka Vrindavan. We, we can see Gordon is the same Gordon. Radha Kunda and Shyama Kunda are the same places. Now we are given Kichri Mahaprasad. And Indra Prabhu gave uh, some instructions to his uh, one of his followers. Uh, this uh, person was uh, living to Russia back. <coughs> And Indra Prabhu said, take as much uh, uh, sand from Vrindavan as you can. And every time when you uh, take prasadam, uh, put some dust in this prasad. And in such a way you can uh, take this uh, Vrindavan dust inside. And you will have uh, this desire to start living in Vrindavan. Here's the dust of Vrindavan. And Srila Prabhupada explained that Vrindavan is not different from Krishna. So when you uh, touch the dust of Vrindavan, you touch Krishna. And this is the best spices can ever be. So add some uh, dust of Vrindavan, this Pasadam. Bon appetit. <laughs> and 20 years ago I hold some programs in Moscow. I uh, hold these programs in the house of one Indian businessman. He, he gave very nice donations and we could cook very nice prasad. <coughs> and 60 persons were visiting these uh, uh, programs and we cooked uh, six, six, 15, uh, 15 dishes. <laughs> We started to cook at 4 a.m. and cooked for 12 hours. Uh, two persons were cooking uh, for 60 persons. And this businessman was shocked. He was worshipping Krishna. He was a member of SCON. But he was from Mumbai and he never visited Vrindavan. And I visited Vrindavan only once at that time. But at that time I was preaching that uh, Raja Bhakti one should live in Vrindavan. And uh, he said, Prabhu, you like Vrindavan more than we Indian people who live in India. And he was even more shocked when we distributed these 15 dishes. And we had this uh, little amount of uh, dust, Vrindavan dust, and we put a little bit of dust in the, in the plates.
И он смотрел на это, вот, вы так любите Вриндаван, и вы еще готовы есть пыль Вриндавана? Я в шоке. He said, I'm so shocked, you are loving, love Vrindavan, and you are ready to eat the dust from Vrindavan. И поэтому в следующий раз, когда он приехал в Индию, он поехал во Вриндаван. So the next time he was impressed, and that's why when next time he visited India, he went to Vrindavan. Конечно же, я не говорю о том, что прям надо все тут сейчас сыпать все пылью. Of course, I'm not saying that we have to cover everything with, da- with dust. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Я просто говорю про настроение. But I'm saying about the mood. Mood. Yeah. Yeah. То есть mm-hmm. не надо имитировать. We don't have to imitate. Но тем не менее у, у настоящих преданных у них такая вера просто в пыль в Риндавана, что мы даже себе представить не можем. But the real devotees they have such a faith in in dust of Vrindavan that we cannot even imagine. То есть скажи, имитировать не надо, потому что это плохо кончится. We don't have to imitate because we might not end up well. Но в Вриндаване есть преданные даже до сих пор. Если у них открытая рана, они эту открытую рану посыпают пыли в Вриндаване. But still there are some people in Indi- in Vrindavan who, if he has an open wound, they put dust of Vrindavan on it. И они говорят, что Кришна все вылечит. And they say Krishna will will care, take care. Если я так сделаю, у меня там только все загноится и нога отвалится. If I do like this, my my leg will be cut off. Yeah, потому что у меня нет настоящей веры. Because I don't have the real faith. Но те, у кого настоящая вера, для них весь Вриндаван открывается по-другому. But those who have real faith, Vrindavan is opening up in a different way. Просто не надо открытые раны посыпать пылью Вриндаван, если человек не может просто хотя бы жить во Вриндаване. Uh, so the person should not put the dust on the open wound if he cannot simply live in Vrindavan. Да, то есть для начала надо хотя бы здесь жить. So, first of all, for the beginning, one should just try to stay here, live here. Но я привожу вот этот пример. But I give this example. То есть, если человек поклоняется Кришне ради того, чтобы у Кришны попросить там денег или еще чего-то, это это очень очень плохо. So if the one worships Krishna in order to ask for some money, other benefits, it's not good. Надо спросить у Кришны, чтобы он забрал все деньги. We should ask him, please take all money away. И чтобы мне ничего не осталось, кроме как жить по Бриндаване и ходить пальца пальцем. That I just have nothing and I stay here in Bindavan and ask for some donation. Опять же, скажи, это 50 на 50, и шутка и правда. It's a 50-50 joke and truth. Потому что если вы не хотите такой простой жизни, то не поклоняйтесь Кришне. If you don't, if you are not ready for simple life, then you shouldn't worship Krishna. Поклоняйтесь на райне. Worship Lord Narayan. Narayan Bhagavan, его всего в избытке. Narayan, Lord Narayan is Bhagavan. He has everything, all opulences. And Krishna in Vrindavan, he behaves as a cowherd boy. He has nothing. He has cows, but these cows belong to his father. No. Мы поклоняемся Кришне, потому что он может даровать любовь. But we worship Krishna because he can give love. Такой, который нигде нет. Love that doesn't exist anywhere else. И вот эти вот любовные отношения Кришны с Матерадхарани это самое самое сладкое, что только можно. And this relationship between Radharani and Krishna is the sweetest thing ever. И поэтому я лучше в следующей жизни буду рождаться здесь, вот во Вриндаване, на земле, но стремиться к Радхе и Кришне, чем отправиться на Вайку и скажу, а, все, Шанти, мне больше ничего не надо. So I'd be better be born in here in Vrindavan, rather than be born at Vaikunta and feel like, oh, I'm a Shanti, peace, everything, I have everything, I don't need anything more. А Индра Прабху в том же настроении сказал более суровую вещь. And Индра Прабху, having the same mood, uh, similar mood, uh, he said more harshly что я лучше родился червем в испражнениях свиньи во Вриндаване, чем отправлюсь на Вайкунту. He said, I better be born as a worm in the stool of a pig, rather than, uh, than, rather than go to Вайкунта. Вы хотите родиться червем в испражнениях? Do you want to be born as a worm in the stool of a pig? На самом, на самом деле, скажем, вот этот черт в упражнениях, он в экстазе, он в своей среде. Actually, this worm is, uh, he's enjoying, he's in his environment. Нет, нет, просто... Not in doubt, he's in, this form of life is just because he's enjoying what he's doing. Но, но мы смотрим, да, не, не хочу. But we are looking at him saying, no, I don't want. Хотя, хотя ему нормально. But he's okay. Ему без испражнений как раз плохо будет. Because, because without this... Uh, Without these things, he will not be satisfied. Так вот точно так же, как мы смотрим на червя и думаем, что вот он в испражнениях это фу ужасно. 
а, а он считает, что все отлично. Точно так же мы считаем, что у нас все отлично. Mm -hmm. А с, с более высокой точки зрения, так мы тоже в испражнении к себе uh -huh. попали. The same way as we look at the worm and say, oh, it's so nasty. The same way uh, we and he, but the worm thinks I'm okay. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And same way we also think, oh, we are okay. We are doing what we are supposed to do. But from the higher position, if someone looks at us, we are like comparing our li uh, life is like also we are in the uh not in a clean place it means like we are in the same position as this worm in the stool like so to say i don't know uh, so the worm is living in the toilet and uh, his life is in there but and we also live and our life can be say we our life is also like in the toilet and the real life is when I understand uh, I am soul, pure soul, and I want relationship with Krishna, loving relationship. Of course, I understand that many people, for many people, it's very difficult to uh, leave everything and come to live in uh, stay in Vrindavan. And moreover, if I'm asked, uh, should I leave everything and uh, move to Vrindavan, I will, in 90% of case, I would say no. You shouldn't. You shouldn't imitate. One might come and try to live here as Goswamis of Vrindavana, but then get uh, disappointed fast and just abandon everything. But we are speaking about the mood. And if there is no such a mood, then uh, the person will not uh, receive this. And every person person has a dream in his life. And I would like that your dream was love to, towards Radha and Krishna. And this is the reason why we come to Vrindavan, uh, do Kirtan and worship Radha and Krishna. Because I want this bhava, I want these feelings. And many people, they know about Radha and Krishna. But for them, Radha and Krishna Lila is like Romeo and Juliet story. Without of understanding what I just said, without the, listening stories about Radha and Krishna is useless. They hear uh, Krishna uh, hugged uh, Radha and kissed her. And he thinks, oh, I have to go and hug my wife. As if uh, Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati was strict about it, and he said, first you have to uh, uh, listen li uh, about Lila of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Radha and Krishna together. And because it's Krishna in the mood of Radharani, Krishna is more, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is more merciful. And by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we have Vrindavan. Because he sent Goswamis of Vrindavan and other devotees here, Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, in order they could find uh, these uh, forgotten places of Krishna Lila and build temples, wrote books about this mood that I was speaking about. And by the mercy of Mahaprabhu, we have Vrindavan now. And if you are devotees of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, we have to uh, value this, what we have. And taking into account that you stay close to Vrindavan. That's why it's my humble request to you, uh, please come to Vrindavan more often.